I'm here to often, uh, I know, <laughs> I'm Sonia, and I'm uh, the Britannia president, uh, and I'm talking about how to support the profits uh, with publishing projects. You have to use Impress Remote, Sonia. Uh, uh -huh. That's my ship. It's okay. In Italy, uh, when we talk about free and open source software, people, it's surprising because they don't know um, what you are talking about. And it's uh, not a um, generation problem. It doesn't depend on degrees or um, uh, where you live or, uh, oh, thank you. or uh, uh, your uh, geographic statement. It's a cultural problem. It's only a cultural problem. And uh, this is uh, what we learned uh, on the seminars at the schools, uh, on the conference, uh, and uh, on meeting, uh, meeting in public administration. So, um, what does free and open and open source software need? And uh, what do we need? Certainly, uh, we need money to pay developers and to organize events and seminars, events like these, for example. Sure, uh, we need uh, volunteers engaging the community, but uh, free and open source software needs communication. It's very, very important for free and open source software. If we communicate uh, in the right way all the opportunities of free software, the ethical value that embodies and uh, the benefits of open source and open formats, I think uh, we would have more good chains to spread it. But what do people think about free and open source software? I don't know if this situation is uh, only in Italy. Mm -hmm. I hope, I hope yes, but I, I want to talk about the five best mistakes, <laughs> and five best mistaken beliefs about free and open source software. The first one, it's a, a software that I haven't paid. And when you say free and open source software, people think, ah, okay, I have to pay for this software and I can save my money. But they also think that the product is not a good product. And unfortunately, um, often free is a synonymous of lesser and lower value. Another mistake, when people say, ah, okay, LibreOffice, it look like Microsoft Office. It's not the same thing, but very, very similar. It means that they think the software is a makeshift solution. It's a software of lower value. And uh, when you suggest you can use LibreOffice, often people think, oh, but I can use Google Docs, and um, uh, I, I haven't really need another free program. Unfortunately, they, they, they don't think about security aspects, for example, and uh, digital freedom. They don't reflect that uh, saving a document in cloud uh, huh, means saving, saving document not on your PCs, but in anyone else's. 
and at schools it's not a secondary problem. In Italy, also in the schools, in many schools, sometimes you can find cracked software on PCs. And it's the worst example and message that we, we, gave, we give to, to our students. The culture of legality should be valued and supported and with free and open source software we can, uh, we can make it. And the last one, I'm not a developer, I can't help the community. People think that to engage the community uh, it's necessary to be on a, an ICT specialist or a developer or a nerd. Hmm? Uh, but it's wrong. We know that uh, we can help the community mm, in another way to translate the guide, to help other uh, users, uh, um, to promote the free and open source software, to use free and open source software. So, um, we have to uh, say to people, you can help the community. And this list of mistaken beliefs could go on to explain all the wrong, the wrong idea about free and open source software. Uh, maybe we should stay here until the next TeleOffice conference. Mm? And so, uh, what can we do? Uh, how can we help people to know free and open source software? And uh, what has Libre Italia Association done last month? The first activity, our uh, Libre Italia blog. Uh, our blog plays an important uh, role, an important communication role. In the blog we publish news about LibreOffice, but we publish also documents, spreadsheets, uh, presentation, and uh, models uh, mm, developed by users who want to share, to share their work with others. Uh, we also publish interviews on ICT specialists and uh, um, civil servants uh, who handle the migration in their public administration on uh, their enterprise um, to, uh, to explain that uh, it's possible. Hmm? Finally, in the blog, we publish news about events organized by Libre Italia Association and other um, free and open source community. Recently, um, we, we begin another activity. We edit a special channel open column on the magazine online Tech Economy dedicated to open source for business. And uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this channel, uh, we post news, uh, national, uh, national international news about free and open source software, um, and uh, post about the difference between free software and proprietary software, for example book reviews, interviews to important people who work in open source software world, and best and wrong practices of migration. For example, <clears throat> last month we published um, a, a notice about the migration of municipality of Pesaro uh, that chose the office 365 and uh, migrated from open office and uh, this is the, the wrong um, practice, uh, Italian practice. Um, every month uh, as Libre Italia um, we publish in a very popular scholar blog, Horizonte Scuola, named Horizonte Scuola, 
some article with educational proposals in order to um, uh, implement the awareness and use of LibreOffice. For example, we published uh, the 10 reasons to choose free and open source software at school, or the 10 reasons uh, to choose LibreOffice and not Microsoft Office, uh, uh, and so on. Uh, this is an e-book uh, um, that uh, um, we are publish, uh, we are publishing in next month. Uh, um, named "Growing Up uh, on Bread and Open Source Software," and that contains our experiences uh, in the schools uh, as Libre Italia and um, a guide. Uh, to migrate the school uh, to uh, free and open source software and uh, a simple guide uh, a simple guide to uh, LibreOffice Writer, Impress and Calc and Draw. Last year I wrote and published uh, an, a, freebie, a free book uh, named 10 People uh, Finding LibreOffice. It's a very simple guide um, on LibreOffice Writer, Calc, Impress and Draw and uh, we gave it uh, to our students uh, in occasion of the courses at uh, the schools and uh, to the public administration that uh, migrated to LibreOffice. We made also uh, many infographics because infographics uh, are an effective means of communication uh, and so uh, we produced uh, an infographic uh, uh, with the reasons to choose LibreOffice and uh, with the students uh, we published the infographics uh, with the 10 things to do and 10 things not to do on internet and social media and uh, um, with uh, night school students uh, we made an infographic about uh, the reason to choose uh, uh, ODF, uh, Open Format. Uh, at Libre Italia this year um, we are partner with the Italian Linux Society for the organization of uh, Linux Day on 24th uh, October. And um, these infographics, some of these infographics, will be distributed uh, to all uh, um, Italian Linux user group associations. Uh, we also wrote uh, uh, some white papers uh, on specific topics uh, um, like uh, security or migration or integration, uh, LibreOffice and documentary software and so on. And we also made uh, many presentations uh, uh, that we published on our SlideShare channel. And um, we realized, uh, for example, uh, some presentation for um, the students of uh, elementary schools and uh, uh, many presentations about how to pass the ECDS exams. We organized uh, many seminars about talking to talk about uh, uh, open source software and digital freedom the importance of digital freedom for example here um, it's a, it is a, a picture um, of students of Foligno that uh, made for us a music show and they dance it for digital freedom uh -huh. Uh, and this is a seminar in a school of Gubbio and uh, this is a seminar uh, on a school of Fermo in Italy. And so, um, how can we use uh, communication to promote LibreOffice? Uh, must we use communication to promote LibreOffice? I think yes, I think so. Uh, 
Last week uh, we signed uh, an important protocol with the uh, Ministry of Defense in Italy that uh, mm, will migrate uh, their uh, 150,000 desktops uh, to LibreOffice. It's a beautiful thing, it's the, the best <laughs> news uh, for Italy and um, it's the, the bigger migration, the bigger Italian migration to LibreOffice. Um, in this important project, uh, we need uh, your help, we need uh, your support, we need you as a community. And, uh, and so, thank you, thank you for attention and thank you for your support and thanks to LibreOffice uh, uh, conference organization, thanks to many Libre Italia volunteers, uh, and thanks uh, to our father, Italo Ignoli. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. This picture. Uh, no. Uh, I just want to say that they have been looking for us, not the opposite. So that's how strong was our communication. They have been looking for us because they have read so many articles and blogs and so on. Yes. And then so they called us and well, we would like to uh, at least consider it. And, and after that, we had an agreement. Please. Did you, did you ask how they found you? Sorry? Did you ask how they found you? Oh, and who is question. Uh, can't you remember? Did you ask how they found you? Yes. 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 Generale Sileo, General. General Sileo uh, called me and uh, he told that uh, he, he saw on the internet uh, what uh, we have done and uh, Google, uh, thanks to Google. Yeah. Huh? Are they also using ODI format or? Yeah. yeah. They, they choose uh, ODF as, a, as format and for Italy it's uh, an important thing, an important thing because um, other public administrations uh, I think uh, that um, can, uh, can follow, follow them. I've been told that when the general called, uh, called uh, Sonia, Sonia was presenting herself and he said, we know everything about you. How <laughs> 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 is it possible? We are the defense. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> is it true? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what exactly where she lives, <laughs> how many children and so on. <laughs> so, um, hey. Let's go on. Okay, thank you. Can you